okay here's what we're gonna do and click on view details here and it should get the latest 044 uh, the next thing you're gonna do is go into settings call tracking and you're gonna to want to copy and paste your API keys here from settings account settings within call tracking metrics next uh, when you go to contact for contact form 7 you can go here to contact form and th the main thing you're gonna to want to keep in mind is what are your um, fields here that you want to capture so what you need to provide us is basically these three fields uh, the phone number or the name the email and the phone number and then with the integration um, here you'll be able to select from any of the form reactors that are set up in the account okay so that basically binds the call tracking metrics form reactor to this form in contact form 7 um, the way custom so, so let me uh, jump into um, the way custom forms work so give me one second here uh, all right, so let me bring this window over here. So here's this um, here's this test form. So okay, so if you wanted to do custom forms, so like you can add a custom form here. So the field label name here could be something like your message, right? So if it's your message like this, then over here, that would mean that maybe you have like a, you know, some kind of text field with a, you know, your message name. Uh, and I don't know, what it, is it just, uh, that's right. And you just paste that into here. Oops. So then this becomes the, the custom field. Now you don't need to mention it here, but you do need to make sure you mention it here. That's it. That's how custom form fields work. Um, so with that set up, then all the other stuff here, you know, if you want to log or if you want to route, however you want to do that, it's all going to work. Um, the other cool thing is, is that it's going to capture visitor data as well uh, when you uh, embed this custom form here. So uh, pretty, pretty simple. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Bye.